Hey everybody. So I just wanted to tell you, uh, I thought I uh, should probably focus this on and uh, tell you, I just got to silence that for a minute. I'm just watching um, display of color and uh, there are another couple of great artists uh, on the internet that you should look up. This is the piece of wood I was telling you about. I've mixed my resin and I put some on and then I thought, well, you know, I have spent a few minutes, as you can see, with the stick sticking out, making sure that it's level. And it's not just about sitting flat and level, it's about like the curves in the wood and stuff like that. You gotta watch for, right? I'm just going to use my hands now to kind of guide it over to the edges. Um, I do want this resin to go down over the edges. I know I haven't got enough on here right now, but I will be putting more on. And I'm just going to let it run down there. And I'm just going to put that right along the edge like that and heat it up just makes it easier to spread when you heat it up that's all that's rid of the initial air bubbles you still got to go in after and pop them but um i just want to make sure that i've got all my uh, enough on the edge to cover uh, the sides Now, I did this, I think I said like last week or something, or a week, uh, more than a week ago now. I think it's been more than a week. I don't know. Anyways, my, the reason I'm doing it now, part of the reason I'm doing it now, is because I want to see if I really have to wait uh, two or three weeks to uh, put resin over top of an acrylic pour on wood. I'm going to say just on wood because I've, I haven't done it to a canvas yet, but I will. Only because I'm curious and if I can do that, then I could get my pieces done a lot faster. Um, anyway, that's that. I just want to make sure that it's all sort of... want any drips underneath it either and I'd like to find like a little set of legs or something I've got my uh, thing tomorrow so I really just wanted to kind of take this with me if I can just run this down here that's what I'll do kind of move down the side I should have really taken that piece of paper out from underneath. Darn, darn, darn. I did not. I did not do that. And I forgot to tape it as well. <laughs> I, I remember these things. And then as quickly as I remember, 
I forget. Now I just saw a hair in the door. Is that a hair? No, it's not. Calm down. Anyway, I'm going to cut my hands off and I'm going to just... I don't want to put any more on there because I don't want to waste uh, the resin. Anyway, I think that this is probably pretty darn good. I don't know, you know, it's a uh, live art, whatever you want to call it. Here on there, but um, so I want it to look a little. Um, a little bit right there, a little bit more right there, So I don't need to worry about that too much. And uh, yeah, so that's that. That's that, baby. I think it looks nice. It's got a couple of little things in there, but you know what? It's gonna right. I I really think that it's kind of part of part of the wood, you know. And then, uh, lift it right up like that. There you go. I think it looks nice. I don't want to move it around too much because it's dripping a bit. Anyway, now that's that. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up. Subscribe, click the bell, and leave a comment. And if you didn't like it, thumbs down, don't care, just want to know. And still leave a comment and still subscribe because listening to constructive criticism is how we learn to do better. Not necessarily better, but maybe differently. There's a close-up. I really like... Uh, I really like these colors. Very, very nice. The pink is beautiful. All right. Thanks, and have a great day. Talk to you later.